So Max Squad, I got a new video for y'all. Samsung Galaxy A10e. Stay tuned. So Max Squad, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's a beautiful breezy day out here. I have an updated video here for you. It's the Galaxy A10e on Boost Mobile. And for the people who watch this video for about, you know, a few seconds and they click away, to sum it up, it's a good phone. It has a USB Type-C for charging, headphone jack, 720p display. It's a, a 19 by nine aspect ratio or is it 19 five by nine? One of the two, but it has a notch, it has a camera cut out, has an eight megapixel camera on the back, five in the front. And uh, it has 32 gigs of internal storage along with two gigs of RAM and it has the Xeno CPU in it. I want to say it's a 7085, I'm not 100% sure, but it is octa-core and it performs really well. This device in particular does not have the fingerprint scanner and uh, it does have face unlock, which is uh, not the most secure thing in the world, but it does have it. As far as real talk here, the device doesn't perform that much better nor worse than the Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit. And that's one thing I wanna talk about here in this video for a quick second. You don't necessarily need to buy a phone every single year or every few months, especially when the performance is on par with the other. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because the Samsung Galaxy A10e is, in my opinion, literally a copy of what the J3 Orbit was last year, except it's in a different design. So it's newer hardware, better looking hardware, and that's what Samsung is baking on for people to actually go out and buy the device. By the way, if you're part of the Mac Squad, let me know in the comment section below because I wanna know who's down with me. The Galaxy A10e from this year here, it has Android 9 Pie, like I said, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, and it performs overall pretty well. I love the performance of the device. In my opinion, it is literally a copy of what the Galaxy J3 Orbit from last year is, except for the fact that it has a little bit better of a design or more so a modern design. It has a better build, quote unquote, better build. Now the cameras itself aren't even as good as they are on the J3 Orbit. It has Type-C. That's definitely a positive that it has going for it. Another positive is, can't front, it does look good. It has that uh, that notch display and you do get a lot of screen real estate. And if you want to actually, you know, experience with a device that has a modern design, how it performs, how it looks, if you want to give that a chance, give it a go. Yeah, the Galaxy A10e is for you. Picture taking quality is pretty good uh, in terms of the phone itself. Selfies are good, video comes out pretty good. I actually recorded a few videos in my past uh, releases here on the channel with the Galaxy A10e. You probably don't know which videos those are unless I said it in the video, but uh, yeah. If you got a guess, go ahead and check those videos out and let me know in the comment section. Let's go Mac Squad, let me see if y'all can go do that for me. Another thing is the battery life on this device it's okay charging times in this device not the fastest in the world but then again you cannot expect too much from a device that costs about a hundred bucks refer to my galaxy a10e uh, full review video on the channel if you want to see some more detailed coverage this is more so a video ensuring or reassuring to you that the device still performs the way it did in the last video. It's a carbon copy of the Galaxy J3 Orbit from last year with uh, similar internals. Uh, has a little bit more storage as opposed to what it did last year, but overall performance is pretty much the same. It's no different. The only thing that's really different is the actual design, look and feel of the device. Anything other than that, the same. So Mask Squad, let me know in the comment section below, were you ever considering buying the Galaxy A10e and for what reason? Like, was it because of the way it looked? Were you curious about it? And if you are going to buy the Galaxy A10e, are you a person that owns the Galaxy J3 Orbit? Do you think it's worth the upgrade? In my opinion, not really. But if you have the extra money, go ahead and do it. But be sure to share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video here, y'all. Have a good day. Deuces.